Hey guys, I'm ZSH Plays, and I am very excited because today we sort of have birds in Planet Zoo. Thanks to the amazing Drac and the new set of bird blueprints that he uploaded today. They look amazing. Let's check them out. All right, so this is my London Zoo build and it is full of aviaries and they are pretty much all empty. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to add these incredible new birds into your zoo. So we're gonna to go to blueprints. All the links to these are in the description below. Type in Drac and here we have the latest releases. Drac's Winged World with 25 new birds, uh, toucans and hornbills. There are even more on the workshop. These are the ones that I'm interested in for this zoo. So this building here is the uh, Blackburn Pavilion, or the birdhouse as it was known back in the 1980s, which is when this zoo is set. And its most famous inhabitant was a great hornbill. So we go to Drax Hornbills. There we go. Looking good. It was, if I recall correctly, her name was Joanna. So we're gonna be looking for a female hornbill here. I like the look of this one. Let's put it in the aviary. Uh, we've got a nice Avery here, the little perch. So let's get it where we want it. We'll hit X and that will give us the freedom to move it exactly how we want it. They work just from one side. <laughs> Looks like some sort of bizarre cyberpunk creation there. Put it to the other side and wow, you have a hornbill. So let's get it onto the perch. Yeah, I think that looks okay. Take a look. Wow, so from back here, it actually does look like a bird. <laughs> that is really cool. Uh, this was mainly smaller birds. The hornbill was the biggest bird in here. Let's get another one done. So we'll choose the birds of the world, or winged world pack here. Okay. I seem to remember maybe minor birds were in there. So cool. How does the man do this? Oh, there's even weaver birds with their nests. Right, let's get some barley miners in here. He's even put them on a perch for us already. He's really thought of everything. So I'll put some of those in here. Oh, they're tiny. How does he do this? So let's angle the branch a bit. Oh, that's so cool. Wow, it's amazing to actually have birds in this building after so long. So let's move on to the next aviary. So we've got another big aviary down here, which was mainly for larger birds of prey, uh, which I will probably add some vultures, or maybe even the Andean condor, not that London Zoo ever had anything that big. Obviously I'm gonna work with what we've got. So in there, let's put in the Andean condor. I know it's a bit big for this aviary, but I think it can still look really good. Maybe in the back of this one. Doesn't look too unlike a griffin vulture actually, so I really like that with its wing spread. Yeah, and moving on from that aviary, we head up through the big cats area. The frame rate in the zoo is so much better since the last update, it's incredible. This zoo is pretty big, it doesn't fill the map or anything like that, but there are a lot of animals in here. I think there's something like 400 animals in this zoo, so frame rate wise, it has been a struggle to build. But it's been a long time since I've been in here and it is performing much better. Can't believe I've got it on play and we're getting a serviceable frame rate. So this down here is the parrot house. Um, apart from the obvious, it held a few different types of birds on the sort of parrot end of the bird spectrum. So these beautiful lorikeets from Drax Winged World. <laughs> Just look at those little guys, they're amazing. They are gonna go in here. So they've already got their own little branch. I think it might be cool to just put them individually onto this tree that we have in here. And I'll put this one maybe behind it. A few of them on different areas of the tree. Put this one right at the top here. Oh yeah. That looks absolutely amazing. I think these are my favorites straight away. Maybe it's because they're smaller. That really just sells the illusion of there being birds in there. 
Well, I'm going to fill the rest of this zoo with these amazing birds. Massive thank you to Drac for releasing this. All the links to all his most recent packs are in the description below. I'll be back with a new episode of The Wetlands tomorrow. Next week, by coincidence, we're actually going to be touring one of Drac zoos, which is one of the most amazing things I've ever seen in Planet Zoo. Look forward to that. Thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you soon.